Hello. I have gone ahead and summarized the two and a half hour video that Mr. Thrive and Survive has referenced regarding new evidence that he is providing about moon phases and moon illumination. His hypothesis is that the moon phases don't always correspond with the location of the sun and the moon provides its own illumination. His presentation begins at about 20 minutes into the video and lasts about 21 more minutes. To summarize his theory, he believes that the sun doesn't have an apparent rotation during a full moon and that on February 9th, the sun will set south of where the moon will set, which according to him, makes it impossible for the phasing of the moon to be what we will observe. At about 1 hour and 50 minutes into the video, he repeats his assertion regarding the phasing of the moon when it sets on the 9th of February and also talks about equatorial mounts. With an equatorial mount, the apparent rotation of the moon will be compensated for and the field rotation of the moon will not be apparent. Hopefully he will carry out observations with an equatorial mount and present his results. In a previous video, I have demonstrated why we should expect field rotation of the moon and that it is due to your viewing perspective on Earth. I will not repeat it here, but a link will be provided in the description box. I have recorded observations using Stellarium Planetarium software, which accurately represents what we should see from Phoenix, Arizona on February 9th during sunset and moonset. As you can see, during the time between when the sun sets and the moon sets, field rotation is occurring. Using an equatorial mount, what is happening makes more sense as I am showing here. Since it also came up in the video, I'm providing a recording of what we should have seen during the lunar eclipse on January 21st, and it matches exactly with the field rotation occurring after the eclipse event. Also shown here is the same event, but utilizing an equatorial mount for the observation. I hope this has been helpful and provides an adequate explanation of the phenomenon that Mr. Thrive and Survive is falsely asserting as evidence against the heliocentric model. If you find errors in this video, please let me know in the comments section. If they are large enough to make a difference in the outcome, I will reproduce the video with the corrections. I would also appreciate any comments, likes, dislikes, and especially your subscription. Goodbye until next time.